Hi there, it's Mark Sebastian, founder of Option Pit, and this is the Option Pit Frequently Asked Questions. So last week we did, uh, when should I buy an option? Um, I'd like to remind everybody, please come to our, uh, our YouTube channel, subscribe, just click on the watermark. Uh, if you like something, please share it, uh, leave a comment, leave us a, uh, a like on, uh, on our videos. Uh, today, I'm gonna be answering uh, another great frequently asked question about what exactly is implied volatility? This is one I get a lot. People like know about implied volatility in because they hear about it, but they don't really know what it is. So let's talk about implied volatility. So what implied volatility is most easily seen as is the VIX index. The VIX index is an index on implied volatility. It is implied volatility on this on options on this index, the S and P 500. So what the VIX index is really doing is telling us what is the average implied volatility for the S&P 500 for options that have about one month to expire. All right, so that's great, except for what is implied volatility? Well, this is the first thing we teach our students and the most important thing we teach our students. Implied volatility is what the market thinks something will move. All right, so, so what does that mean? Well, think about gambling. Think about Las Vegas. Prior to a game in football or baseball or basketball, there is a score that, that or a number that you can bet on called the over-under. The over-under is the total points that will be scored during the game. So for instance, Let's say the, uh, the, Bear, the Chicago Bears are playing the Green Bay Packers. The Las Vegas may set a, a line, an over-under line, of 46. And what that over-under line means is that Las Vegas is expecting 46 points to be about where the Bears and Packers' total points end up. It could be 50, it could be 44, but um, you know, that, that is what Las Vegas thinks the net score will be. And then you are able to then gamble on whether that 46 point score is too low, in which case you would want to bet the over, or too high, in which case you'd want to bet the under. Implied volatility is really the market's over underscore on a stock. So let me pull up Apple. Apple is trading $242.27 here. And I want to point out that this sigma number, this is in Sterling Vol Trader, but you could pull this up in Thinkorswim in Live Vault Pro, in Tradier, you name it. So November 22nd is almost exactly one month from now. And this Sigma number is 26.71. And what that means is that the implied volatility, so the VIX index for Apple is 26.69, 26.7. Which, in course, means that the market thinks Apple is going to move at a 26.7% rate on an annualized basis. On an annualized basis. So this is also very important. Implied volatility is always an annualized number. So what does annualized number mean? Well, think about... Um, a quarter of an NFL season, uh, uh, a running back has five touchdowns. You might say he's on pace to have 20 touchdowns. So all annualized really means is that if it moved this much for the whole year. So what they're saying is that between now and November 22nd, the market is expecting Apple to move 
26.74% if it was an entire year of movement equated to that period of time. It's annualized. All right, so why is it important? That's the final piece. And this is, you know, there, there's a real brief on, on what is implied volatility, but why is it important? It is important because that is what really sets the options price. It is what sets the options price. Um, you know, if I pull up, uh, let me pull up WordPad again. There are five uh, variables in an options price. All right, in Apple, the five variables are price, time to expiration, uh, cost of carry, strike price, and volatility. Well, we know, the, we know what the price is, the time to expiration, the cost of carry, and the strike. The only thing we don't know is what this future volatility will be. This is the one we don't know. So what we really trade when we trade options is we make bets on this. So whether you know it or not, when you trade an option, you are making a bet on the over under for a stock's movement until that option expires. If I buy a six month option, I am betting the movement over under when I buy that option, when I sell that option, it's the same thing. All right, I'm not gonna dig into all the non-directional directional stuff. So the major point of this is if you buy a call option, all right, much like a Vegas line can move, if you buy a call option and that over under price drops, right? The market is now thinking that over under is lower. You're going to lose money immediately. All right. So if implied volatility drops, think about that back to my Bears Packers. If Aaron Rodgers gets hurt, the starting quarterback for the Green Bay Packers, that over under is going to drop because they're not expecting Green Bay to score. So if I bet that 46 point over and it moves to 40, well, I'm in a way worse position. The same thing happens with stocks. If that over under falls or drops, uh, my owning that option can change. And that is why implied volatility is so important. That is what implied volatility is. Implied volatility is the market's over under on movement going forward in an option. So if you're saying to yourself, wow, I never realized that, I didn't know what to do with it. Well, that's why you need to learn about volatility, learn how it affects options, learn how it can make or lose you money, and if you, which is something we teach our students, which is why our students are so effective, because they know how to gamble these over-unders. When you really learn implied volatility well, it's like becoming what in, they would say in Las Vegas is a sharp. A sharp in Las Vegas is someone who knows uh, when over-unders are mispriced. So what we do is really train you to be a sharp with implied volatility, just like you could learn to be a sharp betting over under in sports gambling. All right, everybody. Uh, again, I would love for you to come and comment and, and like our, our video, share it, share it on social media. Uh, and if you've liked this and found it educational, tell a friend about us. Uh, you got questions, email me marketoption.com or call me 888-TRADE-01. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.